the circuit of common emitter configuration of a transistor to obtain input and output characteristics. Base of the transistor is connected first of all with the resistor RB. Maybe it is a, a big resistor 100 kilo ohm so as to make the current low and a battery is attached with P with P P with terminal P of the transistor with positive mean forward biased so ammeter connected it is micro ampere meter battery name is VW it is 0 to 30 volt this is the collector terminal Collector is attached with the, again a resistor before it connecting to a battery. This is of 100 ohm because collector current it is in milliampere. It is a big current as compared to base. The collector attached is positive of the battery. Positive and connected to positive means reverse bias. So this is also of 0 to 30 volt. And now we attach the voltmeter to measure the voltage between collector and ammeter. So this is VCE. And here we are going to attach a voltmeter to measure the voltage between base and ammeter. Okay. Now here it is a positive sign of the battery. There as well as positive here. And as well as positive here. So here is a positive battery, so positive here and positive here to remember, remember it please. Now input characteristics is the graphical relation between voltage and current of the input parameters. What are the input parameters? That is VBE and VBE and IB and keeping the VCE constant as shown in the graph on the left hand side. Now what is output characteristics? It is the graphical relation between the output parameters. What are output parameters? That is VCE and IC. Look left the down graph and keeping one parameter that is the base current constant. This is output characteristics. Okay. Now we are going to calculate parameters from the characteristics curves first parameter is first parameter from the input characteristics is For first parameter we see E is constant, that is we choose one curve. That we are choosing VC equals to 0 volt this curve. Now we are taking the ratio of what? Delta VPE. What is delta VPE here? Look the two lines and points A and B. OA minus OB. That is delta VBE. Now what is the change in current corresponding to these points? OC minus delta IB. It is OC minus OD. That is change in voltage. Our change in current. It is impedance with common emitter configuration. So both are it is in uh, 
VB is in a volt and I in ampere. Now we are going to second parameter. Now here we are taking IP constant. IP constant equals to OC value. What is the change in what is the change in delta V B E and what is change in delta V C E? Mean going from one curve to second curve. Delta V B E it is O E minus O A and delta V C E is phi minus zero. So this is input voltage over output voltage that is the voltage inverse voltage ratio now we are going to output characteristics now we are taking OPQ correspondingly OLM Now here we are finding delta IC first of all. It is OM minus OL in ampere. We to take it in ampere. We to take in ampere. And correspondingly what is delta VCE? It is OP minus OQ. It is in volt. And here IP is constant equals to 60 microampere. It is current upon voltage, so it is admittance with common emitter configuration. HOE. Now we are coming to HFE, forward current ratio. That is, that is delta IC or delta IP. What is delta I C here? There are two curves. Delta I C is the change in collector current O M minus O N and delta I P is 60 minus 20 microampere. So if it is in microampere, I C should be in microampere again. Because the units cancels, cancels out then. OM minus ON, it should be, you take it in microampere, otherwise it is, I see it is in milliampere. You convert it, you know, it into microampere. And here, VCE is constant. Now there are three regions in the output characteristics, cutoff, saturation and active. We will explain one by one. First of all, what is the cutoff region or cutoff point? You are looking at the load line, it cuts the base current curve when IB equals to zero. Amateur base junction for reverse bias as well as because how reverse bias because IB is equals to zero. Ammeter base or so you say base ammeter. If you are saying ammeter base, it is a common base configuration. If base ammeter, it is common ammeter configuration. Collector base junction is also reverse biased. 
at cutoff and at cutoff look vce is nearly equals to vcc as ip equals to 0 there will be no majority current carriers so at cutoff there will be no majority current but there will be small minority currents that is look the hand so this small leakage current flows and it is ICEO in cut off region transistor action transistor lost its action normal action it lost its action because there is no base current if there is no majority carrier currents like IB equals to 0, IC equals to 0, IE equals to 0, both junctions, base emitter and collector base are reverse biased. So one thing remember, like this, look the figure here, there is no IB, IE, IC. So, it is like an open circuit, no current is flowing, so it is called cutoff. Now there are three. Now we are going to second, explain the second region, the saturation region, or the saturation point. You look, the load line cuts the IB curve, when IB is maximum, that is IB saturation. That point is called the saturation point. At saturation point, it is very important. At saturation point, both junctions becomes forward biased. Base emitter junction, you are saying emitter base, then it is a common base configuration. You say base emitter junction, then it is common emitter configuration. So both junctions are forward biased. Emitter base junction and collector base junction. And normal transistor action is again lost because the collector current becomes the independent of the base current. There is no role of base current. So if the transistor lost, lost a section because base having no control over the collector current. And here, you know, like uh, IC saturation is VCC over RC. And VCE equals to VC saturation is equals to VNE voltage shown in the curve. Look like here, base having no control and there is a direct current between emitter and collector. And like that the emitter collector circuit is shorted. There is a short circuit between emitter and collector and there is no role of base. So this is saturation region, the so saturation again, there is no role of the transistor, transistor loses its, uh, loses its ex normal action, it loses the normal action, that is the amplifying action it lost, because there is no control of the base. <laughs> Now we are coming to the active region. This is a very important region because 
transistor normally works in this region. Here, both the junctions are, sorry, one junction is forward biased, input junction is forward biased, and output junction is reverse biased. The, the it is a region between cutoff and saturation and transistor normally works in this region is is it works as amplifying the signal so one thing to remember the transistor has to remain in the active region for amplifying the signal if the emitter base junctions or base emitter junctions forward bias and collector base junction is reverse biased Collector base reverse bias. You are saying emitter base or base emitter. When we say com emitter base, it is common base configuration. When you say base emitter, it is common emitter configuration. And input junction is forward bias, output junction reverse bias. So transistor it is a normal having normal working so this first figure is active region ib